Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to um, uh, capture my thoughts with Stones of Transformation. Now, I I've been looking at uh, First Samuel chapter 10. And when I looked at First Samuel chapter 10, I, uh, I'm looking at the anointing of Saul, when Saul was anointed and all those things. And in the discourse between Saul and Samuel in First Samuel chapter 10, Someone made a statement. He said, listen, first of all, he took a vial of oil and then he poured it upon Saul. And then when he said, I, he had poured the oil upon Saul, then he said something to Saul. Then he said, listen, when, when, um, you, when you go, you do as occasion serves you. But then he made a statement before. He said, when, when the oil is applied in your life, then thou shalt become another man. So he said, first of all, there is something that God wanted you to do. It is called the purpose of God. Number two, God is empowering you by the pouring on of the oil on your, on your head. And these two things, the purpose and the power, will transform you. The purposes of God for your life brings transformation. The power of God in your life will transform you. So the, the purposes might with the power of God brings transformation. The soul you knew, the soul who was shy, the soul who didn't want any trouble, the soul who even went to hide when it was time for him to be picked up, to be made king, that soul was transformed by the purpose of God for his life and the power of God upon him. Now listen, you may know somebody or you may know the man, but once God hits him with purpose and God empowers that purpose by pouring oil upon uh, the person said, there is a transformation. The purpose and the power transforms the man. There are some transformational stones that no matter what it is. See, a fisherman, a, a, a fisherman, a failed fisherman becomes a man standing in front of people, uh, multitudes of people with various languages, Italians, Cappadocians, Pamphylians, uh, Creatives, um, Medians and Greeks and all those other people. He stands in front of them and then he begins to proclaim the message. So a coward who could not, a coward who could not even own up before a little girl that he knew Jesus because of the purpose of God for his life and because of the power that comes from on high, the power of the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit, the visitation of God with power upon him transformed Peter the weakling. Peter the failed fisherman, Peter the one denier, it transformed him into a giant of an apostle. Bold, brazen, fearless, and all that. That is it. So you know one thing? When I hear people say, there's a purpose of God on my life, and people say, there's a power of God on my life, and I don't see any transformation. Uh, well, I cannot be the judge of another man's servant, but I can tell you this for sure. The purpose of God married with his power brings transformation and thou shalt become another man. First Samuel chapter 10. So God's purpose for our lives emboldened by his empowerment on his purpose and on our lives brings transformation. You see someone who is uh, just a typical phlegmatic has now become an outstanding choleric because of transformation or someone without any debris of boldness in him, without any debris of courage in him, that man stands up, becomes one of the most courageous people ever seen. Why? Because purpose, mild with power, brings transformation. See you later.